Hello friends, and welcome back to Tarot and Yoga with Amy. So today is November 8th, so this will be a general tarot reading for the week, and then I'll guide you guys through some yoga poses to help rebalance our energy based on the spread. It's nice and dark outside now, we just have the time change, it gives quite the ambiance. Okay, so I break my reading up into four parts. The first part is what's at hand. Second part, past influences. Ponder this in the future. All right, so what's at hand? We have the Queen of Wands reversed. So this could be talking about you. It could be talking about another woman in your life or just that general feminine energy. And remember, everyone has masculine and feminine qualities to them. So the reversal of this card could be saying a few things. First off, wands is related to the element of fire. You can think about fire is like creativity, passion, and self-confidence. Wands are related to the solar plexus chakra, which is also our center of self-will and self-confidence. You can also think about wands with follow through and taking action and, you know, finishing something through. So the reversal of this card can speak that you need a little more fire. You need to put a little more zest under your shoes to like finish something through. For example, maybe you started a new project, you have a new idea, or maybe you started a new relationship. Instead of just being like, it's not going well, I'm going to just stop. It's like, no, don't stop. Tap into that feminine side of you. The feminine side is going to be the creative side as well. Think about creative solutions and fire yourself up. You can also talk about the reversal of this card, like low self-confidence. So a great way to help build confidence and to get out of your head, for me, is doing physical movement. So with yoga poses, we can think about poses that really involve our core, and you can think about like strengthening too. So like holding plank, forearm plank, dolphin pose, boat pose to low boat. Those are all great things to help work from our center and get that energy flowing. So for the base of where we are now, we have the Ace of Cups. So cups relate to also like emotions, they relate to the water element, and they relate to the sacral chakra, which is our second chakra, which is like creativity also, and then also sexuality, and like just being able to be fluid and go from one thing to the next. So an ace can be a new beginning, it can be a new thought, or maybe even a new relationship. So this is in the past, so this has brought us to where we are right now this week, so maybe you have like something new that's come up for you and you're working through it. And the Ace of Cups is just about kind of going with the flow. You know, like giving the universe some space. Because when we grasp onto things too tightly, things can't flow to us. So this is a great time to kind of like create some space in your schedule and in your personal life and your work life. Create some space and see what ideas and solutions the universe just gives to you. For yoga poses, you can think hip openers for that. So in tarot, it'll be like, hey, this is extra important when two things, like two numbers are next to each other, two of the same suit is next to each other. So under ponder this, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles is right next to Ace of Cups. So it's a lot about like new beginnings. New things are coming to you. And a lot of the times Aces are like being brought to you. So it could be like a new thought, maybe you meet a new friend and through this new friend, you know, you discover something about yourself, you discover a solution to a problem. So just really create space to be open to things. So pentacles relate to the root chakra. You can think about where you live, what you do for work, who you live with. So the ace of pentacles is also being like more is coming in than going out. So it's a great card. 
So maybe you have a new income stream, a new job, a new job idea. It's a great creative time. And this is right under the Queen of Wands reverse. So for me, it's saying like, all right, if we want to get this Ace of Pentacles flowing through us, let's work on our the reversal of the Queen of Wands. So let's work on our self-confidence. And so much of everything is mindset. So when we can like work on our mindset and become mindful, you know, practice our meditation, practice our breath work, it will just help all those new things flow to us. Simple reminders, right? So in the future, we have more wands. We have the page of wands reverse. So the reversal of this card, the page of wands is normally, it can be another person, it can be someone like younger than you, or it could be that own like immaturity. You think about immature energy, but the reversal of this card is saying that you're getting past maybe like your immature ways. And you can even be immature in the sense like you really want to accomplish all these things. You want these new ideas to come, these new Ace of Pentacles, the new Ace of Cups, but you're not actually taking the action. You know, you're not actually like sticking it out all the way through to follow through. And the reversal of this is like, okay, we're moving past that immaturity. It can also mean if there's like immature people around you, the Page of Wands would be very flashy, you know, all talk, all show, and you're starting to realize, you know, people in situations for what they are. You know, you're basing things off of people's actions, and you're just letting this go. Like, if you're gonna be immature, fine. You be the Page of Wands, but that's not going to affect me. That's not gonna stop me from getting my new aces. And also, we're not gonna get down on it, like we are Queen of Wands energy. We're gonna find our own personal fire, ignite our fire ourselves, and we're gonna just let whatever immature BS is going on fall to the wayside. Like we can see through that, we can move beyond that, and when we move beyond that, look, the new things will come to us. I'm gonna run through a little yoga sequence that goes over some of this energy. So to get started, go ahead and find that comfortable seat. Close the eyes. Take a few breaths in. And out. center, setting up for reverse tabletop. Fingertips come to either side. Feet are hip width distance apart. Squeeze the glutes to come on up. Make sure you come all the way on up. Really squeeze, 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 opening up the front line of your body for five, four, three, two, one. Lower on down, extend the legs out in front of you. Keep a little bed here. Inhale, reach the arms overhead and then exhale to fold. Inhale, add length and exhale to fold. Inhale, rise back on up. Hands come to either side. Make sure your wrist is under your elbows, which is under your shoulders. A lot of times people will be like kind of on a diagonal here. So everything's nice and firm. Press the mat away from you as you squeeze the glutes to come on up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now as you lower on down with the soles of the feet together, interlace the hands. Inhale to lift up to the heart and exhale, come on down. If you're pretty mobile, you can use the forearms to put weight here to get a little deeper, to get some leverage. Breathing into those hips. Come on up to your knees. 
adjust this up a little higher. There we go. And hands come as small as the back, squeeze the glutes, and then lean on the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Rise on up, hands grab your heels, forehead melts into the mat or child's pose, and wrap those hips from left to right. Come back to center, place the hands down in front of you. Really press down through the palms for that child pose. Feel the groundedness underneath you. Inhale, pull up that grounding energy. Exhale, release anything that no longer serves you. Press down through the palms as you rise on up. Coming to plank. Wrists are stacked under elbows. We don't want to hyperextend our elbows, so have a little bend. Bring the shoulder blades down and back so they're engaged. Press them out away from you as you extend left toes. Extend right toes from plank. And find that nice three-part breath here. Breathing in and out. Inhale, filling up long. This rib cage expands wide to the top. Exhale, the nose, letting it go. Inhale, filling up on the lungs, your face goes wide to the side. Exhale, release, let it go. Breathing here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down to the knees, find a little cat cow as you inhale, breathe into the heart. Exhale, press them out. Inhale, gaze comes up. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. So you come back through center, interlace the hands, elbows come to either side. Forehead comes down as you tuck the toes to come on up from Dalton. Really press the mat away from you here. You can slightly walk the feet in a little bit as you press down through the forearms. First side, four, three, two, and one. Walk the toes back out to forearm plank. Press the mat away. Shoulder blades come down and back. Reach back to the heels, forward to the crown. Breathing here. Turn five, four, three, two, one. Drop down on the knees. Push on back for that child pose. Go get it, friends.